Excited about Airsoft? Hit the like button and comment to join other Airsofters in the conversation. What's up, Airsofters? You know, there are two things the British do extremely well backwards. Driving on the wrong side of the road and producing modern bullpup service rifles. Airsofters, I present to you the L85. It's backwards, but it works. And it's been in service for the past three decades. Well, not this L85, the real L85. This is the Ares L85A3 electric blowback AEG. But first, some history. The story of the L85 is fascinating. Back in the 1980s, the British Armed Forces were in the market for a new standard issue rifle. They settled on a rather unconventional bullpup style rifle. And for the record, bullpup means the magazine is located behind the trigger group. There are several different ways to accomplish this kind of layout, but suffice it to say that there were some initial problems with the design and manufacturing of this specific style. Those problems were eventually addressed, first with the A2 variant that H&K helped develop, then they improved on those improvements, culminating in this latest version, the L85A3. First issued in 2018, the A3 added some key features that previous models lacked, like a full-length top rail, as well as a more modern handguard with actual space for accessories. It's also lighter than its predecessors and comes in a really cool flat dark earth color scheme. What didn't change, however, is the bullpup design and the controls layout of the original L85. All that comes with advantages and disadvantages. Some can find the placement of the magazine a bit awkward to reload, but with practice, that can become second nature. One advantage the bullpup does offer is a relatively long barrel and a relatively small package. This barrel is about as long as an M16s, but the overall length of the rifle is smaller than an M4A1. So you get the performance of a longer barrel in a handier package. Not to mention, because everything is located towards the back, the weight is closer to your body, making it a very maneuverable rifle. Let's go tip to tail on this L85A3 and check out what makes this platform so unique, starting with the box. This AEG ships in its own carrying case. It's a dark olive green color constructed of blow mold polymer. Four metal latches keep it secure, and on the inside you can see that it's got egg crate foam on top to protect things from rattling around. The lower half has been molded specifically for this AEG. There's space for two magazines, which are included by the way, two mid-caps, in fact. There's also space for an Elkin optic. Elkan? Elkin. You know what I'm talking about. The Spectre. A bipod-style foregrip and some other compartments that might be useful for a battery or for your Ares programming unit. Really, this is a very nice case for the L85A3, and it means you don't have to go get one separately. It comes with it. When you pick up the A3, you'll immediately notice the weight, and that's because of the all-metal construction. The receiver, like its real counterpart, is made from stamped steel. Also present are the beautiful laser-engraved model designations that help differentiate this model from other L85 variants, if the color and the handguard hadn't given it away. Forward of the receiver, we have one of the most notable and distinguishing features of the A3, the CNC machined aluminum handguard. This particular feature stands head and shoulders above other L85 variants, not only because of its key mod interface being ideally suited for today's modern accessory mounting options, but also because of its lightweight and relatively slim profile. A full-length Picatinny top rail seamlessly blends the receiver and front handguard again, giving you plenty of space for attachments and optics. 
Mounted to that rail out of the box are a pair of flip up front and rear sights. The rear has a pretty unique and very convenient quick detachment feature and is adjustable. The controls layout is, if you're unfamiliar with the L85, a bit unconventional. The select fire switch and the safety are separated with the safety being positioned above the trigger and the enlarged trigger guard, which personally I find to have plenty of room even with a gloved finger. Fire is pressing it from the right to the left, putting it on safe is pressing that switch back the other direction. Pretty simple. With any bullpup platform, the uncommon layout is bound to cause at least some discomfort to those new to the ergonomics. I'm happy to report, however, that the pistol grip on the L85 is extremely comfortable and has a more vertical angle than the A2 grip seen oftentimes on many AR-15 and M4 platforms. It's made of a robust nylon fiber reinforced polymer and doubles as the battery storage compartment. Out of the box and at the time of filming this video, it comes wired to small type Tamiya's. Dang it. This is also where you'll plug in your separately available EFCS programming box, which allows you to access the different fire modes available through the EFCS in the L85A3. Simply connect it in line between your battery and your wiring on your AEG to gain access to all those features. You can pick up one of these programming boxes separately on our website. Like with most bullpup designs, the back is where most of the magic happens. Here, we find the magazine well located behind the trigger group and the grip, and the single-sided mag release button, which is on the left-hand side, let's say if you're pointing it away from you. On the opposite side, we have our charging handle, which on the Airsoft L85 functions as part of the electric blowback assembly, giving you a really realistic looking recoil action and can be locked back to allow for greater ease when adjusting the standard dial type hop-up unit. To lock it back, simply lift the bolt release lever just behind the polymer dust cover when operating the bolt. Interestingly, this teardrop shaped charging handle helps with offhand manipulation of the bolt and functions as a brass deflector on the real L85. At the very back of the L85A3 is the select fire switch, which, like the mag release, is non-ambidextrous. It's intended to be used by your off or support hand, switching between your two fire selections. Just above that, we've got the rubberized cheek riser and the rubberized stock pad at the back. Add a little bit of comfort to an otherwise, you know, all stamped steel receiver. It is important to note, though, that because the cheek riser, cheek pad, is almost in line with the Picatinny rail up top, Sighting down an optic without having to crunch really far down on that cheek pad in order to see through it can be difficult, and we recommend using a riser for any optic you choose. Being a NATO-compatible platform, the L85 should be compatible with most Stanag format magazines shared by the AR-15 and similar systems, which is great if you already have a collection of M4 mags, but since all magazine wells are slightly different, we performed our baseline magazine compatibility test, so here's what we found. Our FPS test showed an average of just over 380 FPS and about 18 RPS on full auto when using 0.20 gram BBs and our 11.1 volt 1000 milliamp matrix LiPo battery. In our distance and accuracy test, this Ares L85A3 was able to land several shots on our 6 inch plate and placed most shots on our EVIC professional silhouette target at 50 feet. Out at the 100 foot mark, the spread grew considerably. Thankfully, we were still able to land most of our hits on the body-sized silhouette target. This L85A3 could definitely benefit from an upgraded inner barrel, hop-up bucking, and nub, all of which are available right here at evic.com. In the world of rifles, bullpups are pretty unique. And even in the world of bullpups, the L85 stands out for its looks, features, and performance. So, if you don't mind doing things a bit different from the norm, then a bullpup might just fit into your airsoft arsenal perfectly. And if you're a fan of the L85, then this Ares L85 A3 electric blowback AEG with its EFCS gearbox is one of the most up-to-date designs you can get. Check it out right here on our website at evic.com. Thanks for watching. Want even more Airsoft content? Hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon. Follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook for epic weekly giveaways.